Hello, it's me, Dana. Welcome back to 14 Days of Sunscreen. Here comes the sunscreen. And it is day 13. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so sad. I am really enjoying this and I think it's such a fun thing to do. And I feel like it's just a good way to introduce you to new sunscreens, old sunscreens, all those things. And today, like I mentioned yesterday, if you've not watched yesterday's video, but I was saying that I'm gonna be reviewing some very new sunscreens in the last three days. So I have another new one to review today. You could probably tell from the title, but we are reviewing the Beekman Milk Tint SPF 43. It's beautiful. It's very heavy, very weighty, very luxe. You only get one ounce, so it's very expensive also, but we'll get into that in a second. But if you're not already subscribed, please do so below. I see you guys, I see some of you watching over and over and you're not subscribed and it's like why if you keep watching i'm giving this to you for free so give me back that for free as well <laughs> anyway subscribe like it if you enjoy it and we'll get into it here comes the sun and I say it's all right. today i'm gonna try to do this with my hair down and no clips in it says to shake vigorously so I'll shake vigorously. Handy dandy quarter teaspoon. We'll see how many drops. More came out than I was expecting. It's about two. You can go with two for a substantial or close to the proper amount. Oh wow. Okay, let's apply. This is the Beekman 1802, that's the name of the brand, Milk Tint SPF 43 Tinted Primer Serum. Wow, they just tried to get every word in there. <laughs> it retails for $48 and only comes in one fluid ounce. So this is pretty pricey. Um, just for one fluid ounce, obviously it is by the ounce, meaning that's $48. It does come in six shades, which is super exciting to see. And the shades go from fair to light to medium, tan, rich, and deep. And I would say they're actually a pretty good shade range, but I'm gonna get into this in a second. If it's more sheer coverage, six shades could kind of work, but I think that because it's a little bit heavier of a coverage, some people might feel like their skin tone is not really matched in those six shades. I have the shade medium, which is pretty much right in the middle, and it does have a more neutral undertone than the tan shade. I think the tan and the medium shades are actually very similar. One just runs a little bit warmer, and the other runs a little bit cooler. So what is this? The world's first goat milk tinted primer and SPF 43. We took our best-selling three-in-one milk primer and added pore smoothing, sun-kissed, buildable tint that flexes to adapt to every skin tone in a range of six shades. Okay, one thing that I'm noticing from their website when I'm reading through it, in these directions, usually it's pretty generic directions. Like it says, apply liberally, wait 10 to 15 minutes, and reapply every two hours. On this one, it says shake well, which we did, and then apply one drop onto face or hands and massage into skin. Now, I measured that out and two drops is really the proper amount, but I totally get what they're saying because, spoiler alert, I only have one drop on my face right now. I did not use all of it because I could just tell like I would never want that much of it on my face. I want to show you what it looks like with one drop and then I can go back in and just like for the, the sake of this video and science, show you what um, the full two droppers would look like. But I have a feeling nobody is ever going to apply two droppers of this because it is more, there's more coverage to it. I'm not saying that it's like full coverage, but there's definitely more coverage to it. So I wanted to just kind of give you that caveat. I don't love that fact. It means that most people, I mean, it depends. Like the amount of sunscreen is whatever you want. Now, as long as you're using sunscreen, I'm giving you thumbs up and bravo and clapping and all the things because something is better than nothing. But to get the proper amount and to actually get the coverage and the SPF, like this one says 43, you do need to apply a certain amount. And that is because your skin has peaks and valleys. And for those valleys to be filled in and then an even layer on your skin, you do need a substantial amount. And sometimes it's very easy with an invisible one. Other times it can be harder. This is one of those ones where it's a little bit harder and what I would do, and I'm just kind of jumping ahead, I'm not finished telling you all about the sunscreen, but what I would do with this one, and I can already tell, I would wear this layered over another mineral sunscreen. I just wouldn't ever want to apply too much of it. 
So this is going to act more like makeup to me. It's not gonna be my only one, one and done sunscreen makeup type thing. It's going to go into my makeup drawer with the other skin tints. And it's a bonus that I get SPF with it. Now, am I telling you that you have to do that? No, and I think so many people are gonna use it as a one and done, and they're still gonna get protection, but maybe not the most that they can get. And I read a really, or I saw a really good reel, and I forget who made it the other day, but it had like one finger length, two finger lengths, three finger lengths. And that's kind of, you know, sometimes you'll see like apply two finger lengths and that's the proper amount or three or whatever. And it kind of demonstrated that one is going to give you protection and it's gonna be okay. Two is gonna give you more like of the skincare kind of benefits to it and helping with premature aging and that type of thing. And then three is really gonna be like your fullest amount of protection. And so it's kind of like a choose your own adventure. You can kind of do whatever one you want. Me, I tend to do three because I do really look at sunscreen as like my main skincare product and trying to either kind of slow the signs of aging or just protect my skin from things like skin cancer. So I don't like to tell people you have to do it this way. Like if you don't wanna do it that way, that's fine. I just, I'm happy that you're wearing sunscreen and that's kind of my biggest thing. But this is a very long way of saying this one has more coverage. Like this one I would say is like a very medium almost like light to medium coverage, and I am never gonna be using the full quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, let's go back to what else. So this one is a mineral sunscreen. I will use quotes because it's got 13% zinc oxide, but it also does have beta lacto salicylate. So if you've ever used a mineral sunscreen and you found like maybe it was just a little irritating or tingling or there's something just like, why is it doing that? I heard mineral sunscreens are supposed to be the most gentle. It tends to be, not always, could be a fragrance or some other ingredient, but a lot of the time it's because it does have beta lacto salicylate. So if you are noticing that trend, look into the ingredients. If it has beta lacto salicylate, it might be the cause, but not always. This one also does have iron oxides, which is a great added kind of layer of protection. It also is what gives it kind of more of the pigment. And I can see they, they I think they have three or four different iron oxides, which I definitely see and feel. It definitely feels more like makeup with that. A few more things about it. So this one is, again, pretty much made, not again. I mean, I do feel like most mineral sunscreens these days are made for people with more dry to normal skin. And I would agree with this one um, being made for those people as well. I think if you have oily skin, you can definitely wear it. I would say maybe use a little bit less and just use your powder over top, which is probably standard for you anyway. This one, it does have more pigment, like I said. I'm really leaning toward light if you use a little to light medium coverage if you use a, basically like one full dropper of it. And then as far as finish, it does give you a nice glow. Like you can see that I look glowy here but I don't think that it's actually going to be a super glowy one throughout the day. If you put a little bit of powder on and at like hour three or four, I think it's going to have a nice luminosity to it, but nothing too, too crazy. One thing that I have noticed when I'm wearing it, I definitely need to kind of go in with a sponge and kind of make sure that it's all blended out. Cause again, I think it's gonna operate more like a makeup. And so I do see like just a little bit of streaking right on my forehead and then kind of wear Maybe I have like larger pores or whatnot. And then as far as the tone, I think this one is a perfect tone. I do see a little bit of a difference on my neck. My neck is always the lightish part of my body. So I can see like I didn't blend it all the way down, but in comparison to the rest of my body, it actually looks pretty good. So I would say if you are a similar skin tone to me, medium is a very good shade. And I do like that it kind of just feels like a neutral shade. And it, I think a lot of different tones could use it. Okay. so. What are my final thoughts? I think I've already said this before and I'm gonna just finish applying the rest of it even though I really don't want to because I would never wear this much, but I'm doing it for science, right? <laughs> I'm gonna apply it and then talk through my final thoughts though. So I think I've already said it. This is to me a makeup. So that doesn't mean it has to be that for you, but because I do like the correct amount of protection and like a very full amount of protection, I would never want to wear two full droppers of this on my face and neck, like even putting it down my neck, it's too much. So I would layer this over maybe another tinted sunscreen or even one that's non-tinted. Looking at the one that I just reviewed earlier or yesterday, this is the Indie Lee one. This one is very sheer, so you're not really getting any coverage. This one, if you layered it over top the Indie Lee, I think the amount of kind of tint would be great, 
but I think you would have a lot of glow. So I would maybe reach for something that is non-tinted and a little bit more matte because this one definitely has a little bit more glow to it. Oh, you know what would be great? This is the Summer Fridays. It's like this because I have like that much more. So I would layer it over the Summer Fridays. I'm so, I so don't wanna put more of this on, but I really just wanna show you guys what it looks like as the full amount. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in even more so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. If I take my sponge, it's just right there that you can kind of see like, not sitting perfectly on the skin. So there we have it. I think this one is gonna be a big hit. I think a lot of people are really gonna love this one. My recommendations, like I've already said a million times, use one dropper of it. If you really want more protection, layer it on top of something else. I would think of it like makeup. You don't have to, but that's exactly how I'm gonna think of it. I have like two sections of my life. Like I have areas where it's just sunscreen and then areas where it's makeup. And this is gonna go into the tints. This is a skin tint to me. I get the bonus of added SPF, but I'm really gonna look at it like makeup. So, so with that said, I do think it's stunning. I think it's really, really beautiful. I just wanted to give all those caveats a million times so that you are not confused as to what it is in my opinion and wear it however you want. As long as you enjoy it, you're getting some protection. Some is better than none and I am out of breath. <laughs> Sometimes I look at my watch after these videos and it's like, you had a heart rate of 110, maybe not that high, but it's like a full on workout. So <laughs> anyway, very excited to try this out. You know, I was kind of shocked by it and I hope this was helpful for you and seeing kind of what it looks like applied to skin and just my thoughts on it. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and stay tuned because we have ah, day 14 tomorrow. I'm sad but it's here and it'll end and we'll move on and it'll be great. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.